Good day viewers, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to be solving these two functional equations as the first one is f of x minus f of x over x minus 1 equals x, while the second one is f of x minus 1 over x equals x divided by x plus 1. So these questions, they look related, so that's why I'm combining these two together. So the same approach and different questions. So let's see how we can get into it. For the first one, so if I consider the solution first, we have 2 f of x minus f of x divided by x minus 1 equals x. I'm going to be applying the substitution method here. As far as likely the second one as well, we'll be applying the substitution method. But what are we going to substitute? Since we are looking for f of x, this is f of x already. So we are going to substitute for this. x over x minus 1. Replacing it with another letter. If I let t equals x divided by x minus 1. So this implies that if I cross multiply, we are going to have t into bracket of x minus 1 equals x and again we have to open the bracket here by opening this parenthesis we have tx minus t equals x and also when i collect the like terms i want to make x the subject of the formula so this comes here and we have tx minus x equals so minus t will come here. This is t. After getting this, let's factor out x. By factoring out x, we have here as t minus 1 equals t. And again, divide both sides by t minus 1. And we make x the subject as t divided by t minus 1. So this is what we have. Then, if we come back to the main functions, anywhere we see x, we replace it with t divided by t minus 1. So, this implies 2 multiplied by f of, instead of x, we change it to t divided by t minus 1. Then, minus f of, so the order of x divided by x minus 1 in the first equations, so it's given as t and everything equals x so this is almost similar but instead of x here as well we are going to replace it with t divided by t minus 1 so these are the only differences between the first one and this new equation that we form then let's change every single x let's change it to t in this one so by changing this one to t we are going to have 2 f of x divided by x minus 1 minus f of x this equals x divided by x minus 1 and if i bring back the first equation down here we are going to have 2 f of x minus f of x divided by x minus 1 equals x so looking at this one we need to get f of x but here is 2 multiplied by f of x over x minus 1 and this is minus f of x divided by x minus 1 so we need to cancel this out but this is missing 2 therefore we have to multiply this equation by 2 and we multiply this one by 2 this one becomes 4 and this one becomes 2 also this one becomes 2 so we can now add these two equations together and when we add these two equations this and this cancelled and we have 4 f of x minus f of x this gives us 3 f of x equals we add this together as well that is we have x divided by x minus 1 plus 2x then we have 3 f of x equals 
we have to find the LCM here. When we find the LCM, we multiply x minus 1 by 2x. Then we add x plus 8. That is x plus 2x into bracket of x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. So if this is what we have, so we are going to expand this as we have 3f of x equals x plus 2x times x, that gives us 2x squared minus 2x times 1, that is minus 2x divided by x minus 1. So here we have 3f of x equals 2x squared plus x minus 2x, that gives us minus x then divided by x minus 1. So the final thing we are going to do is, we have to multiply 3 by the whole of x minus 1. And our final answer for f of x is given as 2x squared minus x divided by 3 into bracket of x minus 1. And here is the final result to this first functional equations question so let's see how we can solve the second one and see the beautiful of substitution method in this second question we are going to be applying substitution as well and i'm going to be fast because we have seen something of related to this before so the domain of this function is x minus one over x again if i let Suppose I let u to be equals x minus 1 divided by x. So we are trying to make x the subject of the formula. That is, we are going to firstly cross multiply, which is ux equals x minus 1. And on getting this, we transfer x here so that we have ux minus x equals minus 1. And we factor out x. When we factor out x, we have u minus 1 equals minus 1. So we divide both sides by u minus 1. We therefore have x equals minus 1 divided by u minus 1. Or we can simply call this one 1 divided by 1 minus u. So getting here. We are going to substitute again as we have f of u equals, instead of x there, we change it to 1 divided by 1 minus u divided by 1 divided by 1 minus u plus 1. And if we expand this out, we are going to have 1 divided by 1 minus u, taking the reciprocal, multiply by 1 minus u divided by 1 plus 1 minus uh, minus u. So 1 minus u comes to 1 minus u as we have our f of u equals 1 divided by 1 plus 1 that is 2 minus u. Uh, replacing u with x, we have f of x equals 1 divided by 2 minus x. So this is how to solve this. And note that here, our x here is not equals 2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.